Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Silver Run Forest Home Builders Edition. Guys, we did a lot since last episode. So that's our housing development over there. It's, the sun's going down, so just bear with me. This is our new house that we built, but I'll show you how we're doing this. So it took a lot of planning to get this right. <laughs> But uh, we came over here, and you know last episode we got all the driveways put in and the fences and the properties. And uh, we got all the um, like the street lights and everything put in. Those are all done. And then we had this road that came up here, right? And then we needed to figure out a way to get a bridge across here. So what we did is we leveled this out on this turn. And you can see I leveled it straight across and we got this bridge put in, which helps us keep the water going underneath that works out perfectly and then we used our um, excavator and we put it on flat and basically what it does is it takes the side that's like low and it flattens the high side so it kept this almost perfectly level all the way through here which was exactly what we wanted right here's where i had a transition though it kind of goes back uphill but you can see it just cut out the side of this hill and kept this nice and flat i love the way that that works but it goes down there. This is the new home site. So these home sites are going to be cost. These are going to cost a little bit more because this is like section two. We might get a house up here on the side, but there's a little road up there. And then we were originally uh, going to go this way. I tell you what, guys, let's pop up to our house real quick. We'll go ahead and sleep because the sun's going down. Hopefully it's not going to snow. It was snowing earlier. It still stays pretty dark at eight o'clock in the morning, though. That's the only problem. Yeah, it's snowing. At least it was. We're good. Awesome. Man, I'm getting killed on these leasing costs. Okay. So, as I was saying, oh, look at that, look at that, uh, look at the roller coaster, guys. Check that out. It's progressing, progressing nicely. All right, I have a ton of wood, by the way. We've cut down so many trees. I have this whole entire pile over here. I have that entire, that's two, that's a whole entire truckload right there. And then I have these trees that we cut out over here. I got a pile here, I got a little pile over here, and then a pile there. And I don't know where we're going to put the houses yet, but I still got to cut down all of these but like I was saying is, I originally had the road going like this, right? But I didn't leave much room for the houses. Like, they're right up against the water. So I figured I would extend the road straight this way and then have it go out. And then we have a little bit more place here for the uh, driveways and the houses. we got to make this transition here, but we kind of ran into a gravel issue. Uh, but yeah, so that's what we're going to be doing. So these house sites here are going to be the larger houses. They're all going to, the backs of them are going to face the pond. So it's going to look like, it's going to look really nice. Look at all these weeds that grew. It's <laughs> when I, uh, ex I didn't excavate this, but I took out all the weeds. Um, and then more weeds grew. It's kind of funny. Uh, but yeah, this is kind of like our models. This is what all these are going to look like. So they're going to be right up against the lake. You can sit on your back porch and enjoy the, enjoy the pond, right? Kind of cool. All right. So that's what we're doing. Uh, we need to get some lumber out of here. So let's go pick up this lumber and we will take this. Um, we still have snowmen on these houses. That's kind of funny. All the houses have like little decorations, which I think is kind of cool. So let's see if we can just make a new turn here in this guy's yard. We won't say anything. He doesn't have any sod here yet anyways. Oh, geez. All right. So we'll go up here. But yeah, this turned out really nice. Um, just grade wise. I was afraid it wouldn't, it wasn't going to work, but it works great. Like we tore out this whole hillside right here and then we just got to excavate. You can see the little road that's over there. So I can't bring houses over there, uh, but we can keep houses over here. So let's switch. Uh, I believe it's this. Nope, not that. Um, is it the O button? Yes. Yeah, right, let's pick up these logs here. And we'll pick up the other stack up there. So if you guys are having fun, I'm having fun now doing this. I was kind of worried. Oh, I didn't know they were going to put them up front. Uh, let's switch the piles. There we go. I'm having fun doing this with the uh, whole construction and modification of the ground. Now, I did see that uh, the guy that uh, made this mod actually is updating it or has updated it so i'll have to check it out make sure nothing gets like we don't have to change anything but i think they add i think when every time a mod or an update comes out he actually adds more machines in the uh, config file so that might be beneficial to us so let's grab all these and we need to go grab that one over there so this will actually be two loads um where's my hand thing two loads of wood because Oops, the other the other load is right there. And is that all? I think that's all. Let's see if we can just grab a couple of these over here. Let's switch the side here real quick. Let's see if we can grab just a couple of these. Let's grab some of those. And that appears to be it. Okay. Strap that in. There we go. And we will take these to the lumber yard. Now, if you remember, we upgraded our lumber yard 
I think it cost us like $275,000. We also upgraded... Um, or is that, I think that's the only thing that we did upgrade. We didn't upgrade our other manufacturing. I don't believe we did. But yeah, that's pretty exciting. Look at that roller coaster, man. That is awesome. The whole center section is brand new. So we got to make sure we keep up with the, uh, with the stuff. You know, I think we did upgrade the floor tiles building, actually. I got to take this, take this turn slowly. I don't want to flip. So we're going to take these up here. I'll show you how we drop them off. I think I've shown you guys before, but I think it's just pretty cool. You drop them off at the water and they go up to the little excavator or the excavator, <laughs> the excavator. And uh, we're down to $147,000. I'm hoping that uh, with the metal that we have, we can at least sell some. I would like to get another one of these, um, the truck part of this. I'd like to get another one. That way I'm not driving to and from. I can like, you can actually tell this guy to go back to a certain place which is what I want to do is just tell him to go home and then I can tab over to the other truck and have that truck um, ready to go. We can put the uh, loading trailer on that one for the for the pallets and stuff. So we'll go up here. So that housing development is going to take us a little bit of time. I know we said we were going to wait until after the winter time, uh, but it, from what we saw was that the temperatures were going to be pretty high and mild. So there was a couple couple chances for snow overnight but we were able to get those foundations in without any issues all right so i need to get like this they need to make the road like this because <laughs> you got to drop these off like way down here on the bottom of this hill it's kind of scary i'm afraid i'm gonna roll over right there awesome all right let's unload these and then immediately you'll see them go up the uh little escalator there it's cool looks like all our lumber over there is completely filled but yeah i think this thing now holds like twice as much lumber as it did before uh let's see wood planks soul mill yeah holds two hundred twenty thousand. so we can actually uh we have planks um beams i think we got beams turned off though no we don't we still have beams long planks and wood prefab walls i don't think we need any of the prefab walls uh it takes 130 yeah, i don't think we need to do any of the prefab walls all right so that's done Let's make a U-turn here. So this is where I wish that we had, um, like, another truck, right? So I could just tab over and grab the other truck and come down here. The other cool thing is if I could somehow get a loader that holds more than what the other truck does. Because I don't feel like the semi holds very much. But we'll see. So let's take this back. And then, um, tell you what, I'm going to do this because you guys have already seen this. I'm not, this isn't really anything important. So I'm going to grab all the stuff. We'll deliver it. And then when I get over to the shipping yard and the roller coaster, we'll see what they need. Make sure that's all stocked up. And then we'll place some more in our little housing area. Be right back. All right, guys, we came over here and looked at our boat. Check this out. Check that out. All it's missing is the sails. So I was wondering how they're going to do the sails. And look, it says that the required materials for the next step is fabric. Now we have enough materials here to build a whole other ship. It requires fabric, right? We don't own any buildings that make fabric. <laughs> so we need to go in here and find out what buildings make fabric, right? So let's go in here and scroll down and see if we can find fabric. So there's iron ore, easel, shingles, gravel. I don't see fabric. Am I missing it? So tables, shingles, prefab walls, planks, picture frame, floor tiles. Hmm. All right. So I don't know what building makes fabric. So let's go into productions and let's go down here. Construction productions. And let's look at some of these new ones. When does a new one start? Uh, I think it's right here. So these produces barrels, furniture, paper fabric, paper mill. I wonder if that's what it is then. It's the paper mill. So I don't see anything else that creates fabric. Yeah. So it's got to be the paper mill. So I think I could think of. Unless it's something that we can buy. Can I actually buy it through here? I don't know. Let's uh let's click on R. Actually you can't click on R on this, can you? Even though we bought it, you can't click on it. Oh, that's strange. Uh boatyard resources. I don't know. It doesn't say what to make fabric with. So uh what building was that again? Um was it the paper mill? Productions uh, right here. Paper mill? Paper factory. It's got to be what it is. All right. So do we have one of those already in town? Uh, paper factory. What is this? This is the paper factory right there, which is off the beaten path, isn't it? <laughs> um, so it's off the main road here. So it's not too far away, actually, is it? Uh, let's tab up there real quick. Let's just space bar up here. 
All right, so this is the paper mill. Uh, there's a road here that goes like through the water. Oh my lord. So that's the main, this is a river. Oh, there. that's the road that it's referring to up there. Ugh. How do we get up there? I guess it, you have to take that road right there. My god. Uh, how much does it cost? For us to let's click on this store wood hundred and thirty thousand dollars hundred and thirty thousand dollars I wonder if it would be beneficial to us for us to build this somewhere else just build it on our own um I don't really have one hundred thirty thousand here too how big is that it's pretty big let's tab over to here uh, this is all going to be the housing development, but we could actually use, I mean, will it fit here since we already got this all graded? We might have to grade this out and put the paper factory right here. Uh, let's see if the paper factory will actually fit here on this property. Construction. So, uh, yeah, it will actually. Fits there nicely, doesn't it? All right, so we're that's what we're going to do since we already own the property. It would keep it... It would keep it really close, though, when it requires trees. So I could just drop off the trees here and make paper. That's a great idea. All right, tell you what. Let's, um, I'll take you over here. Um, this has everything that it needs um, to go to the next step. So this one's done, right? So if we go over here, you can see uh, it has everything that it needs. So we are good here. This doesn't need anything out of the ordinary. It has staircase railing and floor tiles in, in, in its reserve. So it's good up through the next step, which is cool. All right, so let's grab, uh, let's grab this guy all right and we will get all that stone moved out of the way and we'll get this um yeah we'll get all the stone moved out i'll just dump it over there in the thing and get money for it well uh, we got two hundred ninety four thousand dollars only because uh we had like um let's see what did we just make we just made a pretty good chunk off of the metal so we made hundred forty five thousand dollars off the metal um where's our miscellaneous see we only made 27 or we only made nine thousand dollars on our solar panels our solar is going down in the winter that sucks we haven't got the solar panels put up over there yet but yeah that's how it's gonna work so let me go ahead and get this done and then um we'll get that building built so be right back all right so we got the uh we got the uh, building put in i'm gonna put up a couple of landscape trees around this place just to kind of hide it from the housing development that's going to go up there i'll put a couple of these trees up on the hill like that and then we'll kind of shade it with these trees as well so we're gonna still have a little access here that way i can get the logs and stuff from up there and let's go ahead and scroll or not paint or plants that's what i want let's go ahead and grab um some of these shrubs yeah some of these shrubs that looks nice put that on the hill we'll put that up here just on the hillside kind of give it a nice look and some of these now we're not going to see them until the spring but it should look nice all right cool so we got that done I'll do that all right so let's get this thing started all right so let's go ahead uh since we have this ready let's go grab our truck all right let's make a u-turn and let's go get the wood and we'll drop off the wood to the paper factory and see how long it takes to make wood or make <laughs> how long it takes wood. how long it takes to make uh the paper i really wish that fence wasn't right there on the side of the train tracks i really wish that wasn't there i wish i get to get rid of that all right let's take this um i guess we could take this and park it right here for right now i don't need this we do have some uh, some stuff to go pick up those but none of the uh facilities need it whoops there we go let's go grab this wood from up here now we're gonna have a lot more wood because we gotta i still have about a dozen trees to cut out maybe at least a dozen more trees and we get like four or five pieces per tree sometimes more so it's like 60 p 60 logs it's almost a whole trailer full all right let's not tip this I don't want to hear it from Link, but we'll drive down here. We got this nice little path. I might have to make this a little bit more gradual. Ugh. Yeah, there we go. So, do we drop the logs off in here? Those appear so. Oh my god, this is going to be scary. Oh, we did make it. All right, we'll have to do a Yui. We'll have to go around the, from the front and come back in. That's fine. We left a lot of property here. So we'll go back out and we'll come through. Maybe. This might not work either. Oh my lord. It's like playing uh, American Trucking Simulator, you know? There we go. All right, so if I unstrap this, and I'm stuck. There we go. Can I go over here and click on this now? 
Yes, so that's all that it took though. So it's full, all right? So this makes paper, that's perfect. So let's do on this, let's activate this one and we will just go ahead and spawn it. Uh, change output spawning. This does 24. Um, what's it take to upgrade this? 143,000. We don't really need that much though. I only need like, um, I think it's only like 3,000, but this produces 230 every, basically every cycle. So that's 230 times 24. That's, that's a pretty good amount, I would think. How much money do we have? 171,000. I mean, we could upgrade this factory. I mean, I guess it wouldn't hurt. Um, let's go ahead and upgrade it. Hopefully we don't lose our inventory. Upgrade, yes, so let's go back to here. So it can hold 60,000 now and it does 51. Um, that's good, all right, so let's grab the rest of this wood out then. So it has all the wood. That's going to per start producing paper immediately for us. And then we still have a bunch more wood up here. So that'll give us the wood for the sails. Um, yeah, so let's grab all this crap wood right here. Oops, oh god, I didn't mean to, oh jeez. I like jammed it into the axle. Oh, whatever. Let's get it out of the way. <laughs> it's the easiest way to do it. Okay, let's pick these up. Here we go. Pick this one up. There we go. And then we'll go pick up all this trash. All right. And that one. And all these. There we go. It's got a pretty big range on it. It seems like it reaches out pretty far. Put that there. That there. And then we got some over here, right? Yep. All right. Let's put that there. Whoops. And then we'll put this one over here. So that should be all the wood for right now. All right, good. So, oh, it just rolled over. All right, let's disconnect that. All right, let's park you right here. Let's get this guy out of the way. Let's get him out of the way. And we're gonna have to show you how this works. We're going to cut in a road that's gonna go all the way to the street. Basically is what we're gonna do. All right, oh, we need to turn that off. Okay, turn him off, turn this guy on, move him out of the way you right there all right let's go get the uh the loader this guy here um i took a uh, load over for the iron because we were totally out of iron we'll just cut through the property here and go up through this little ramp so yeah that road's gonna come right through here and go straight out to that road oops oh, there we go dig all this pick all this up i think i'll just go sit this over here against the ground just get it out of the way for right now the only problem with this is if you tilt the bucket down it thinks that you want to discharge it, right? So if I have a down slope, I got to go in here and turn around and come back from the other direction. It's the only way that works, which makes sense logically. Because if I were to be in one of these and I was trying to pick something up, I wouldn't try to pick it up going downwards. And is that all? No, I can't get that little piece there. There we go. There we go. All right, cool. So now we're going to cut this end. Park you here. Just line them all up. And we're going to go to this guy. All right, let's turn him on. Uh, enable Terraform. We want to uh, set this to flatten. And everything should still be... Oh, I don't I want the paint on that. So let's turn that off. Let's go in here and let's do on. It is on. Clear material on. Let's do um, road pebbles is fine. And then the discharge strength. Let's turn down the discharge strength because I don't want a bunch of... I really don't want a lot of materials. But you'll see when I get up close to this, it's going to start flattening this. See it going down? And I basically want to take this and just push it all the way out that way and so it's flat and i'm okay with the gravel going on each side because i can come back and get that that's kind of cool actually so that's how we cut in roads and i've been doing this uh for a couple hours actually doing this <laughs> it's fun believe it or not it's just like being no different than you like going out and like plowing a field right going about the same speed i mean it's going well i guess you would plow it like six miles an hour seven miles an hour but yeah this is giving us the road that we need and that way we can have houses actually on that side and this side up here which would be great we're just gonna have a lot of gravel all right we're gonna go back and do uh two more passes one on each side to get this a little bit wider and then we should be ready to get the uh, houses ready all right guys what i'm doing now is i'm just smoothing everything out or and we're painting the ground dirt 
All right, so I don't want any sharp points and we don't want any of this brush. So we're taking it all the way down here to the end and this is all gonna be smoothed out. You can kind of already see the terrain moving, but it's just smoothing it out so that when I do go to put a house down, I'm not gonna have a lot of grading issues, which would be good. And it makes this hillside not so steep. I did leave a couple trees. Just, I think I lo I think I spread them out just enough so that if we did put a house, they're not going to interfere. But I think I I think we have them in a good good spot. All right, I'm going to go down one more time, and I think we'll have basically where we need to have the houses set. All right, let's go ahead and put some houses down. Let's get this uh, development done. I mean, we've been working on this thing forever. So landscape, uh, decoration, others. We want the longer houses. So let's get uh, let's get a gray one going on. We already did red. We want these things set like right about there. Uh, that's probably good. Put that guy right. I wish I could. I wish you could set these. It doesn't. You don't have the option of like putting them lower, or do you? Is it page up and page down? Like you. Remember in 19, you could tell, oh, we don't have enough money. What are you talking about? This is only $500. All right, so yeah, let's put him right there. All right, and then let's put a white one like right here, right about there. And then let's go back to um, a blue one. And then we'll put that one like right, how I many, we don't have enough room for another one, do we? All right, let's just put another red one. Put another red one right here at the beginning. So we like the model. All right, let's put him. Actually, can we like rotate it like this way? I'm not worried about where the stairs are. Some of these stairs are gonna be like right on the cliff side. I'm not worried about that. Um, yeah, that's probably fine, like right there. All right, you can see that it already does the grade by itself. All right, and then we just need to go in there and we just we can go in here and sculpt it ourselves. Uh, we can like smooth this. Out. Actually, that's not what I wanted. I want to smooth this out around here, and then that's fine there. And then we we will smooth out this corner. Now we could use the excavator to do this. Um, I think this is fine. We're gonna put dirt on that hillside there. This all looks good. Um, let's get this side over here kind of smoothed out. Um, stairs are fine. This back corner is kind of high. Uh, the front is fine. This house turned out a lot better than I thought, but we do have like a little big of a raised point there. Let's go ahead and shrink that down. We'll get this like that. And then we'll, we'll, we'll soften this out, make that a little bit bigger. Yeah, that's fine. All right, we've got that one. And then red one was already here. So we're just going to paint it the same way. So we're going to go in here and paint, grab the gravel. Uh, let's put it on the circle version, um, bigger circle version. And we're just going to come down through here behind the brush. And that's kind of going to be our shoreline like that. I guess we could use sand. We have sand. Does that look better? Actually, the sand does look better, doesn't it? All right, let's do sand. So I have like a little sandy area here that they can use to go swimming. We'll just say that was one of the perks of buying the property was the beach side. We'll give them like a little beach area if we if they'll let us. Yeah, they'll let us. A little beach area on each house. That's kind of cool. And then let's make that a little bit bigger. And then we'll have that kind of hug the coastline here like so. And then we'll give them like a little walking path out to there. They'll have their own little access to the beaches and then we'll just spray paint this in like so we'll leave some of the natural natural there and then we'll fill these in here underneath and then in the front we just need to put driveways in so we can get a driveway come straight out to the street let's get this street kind of cleared right here we'll get the concrete we'll be doing concrete on all these i can do this with the excavator but i just want to get these done today uh this guy is gonna come straight out like this he's gonna have a long driveway fine uh, and this guy will be like right here and then i'll smooth out that little part right there where it looks like almost like a curb is there and we just need to fill in all the grade uh can we make this yeah it might be better to do it in the square i'm not worried about that gravel so that's why I'm just, just filling it in. Not worried about it. We will use the dozer though to put in the um to put in the final road though. So let's do that. Get actually let's go back to this. A little bit of that there, and let's shrink this down like that. And then the little forestry equipment there is in the way, but that's fine. We'll get that. We'll leave that little patch there. I like that. It's a little natural. And let's get this. And they got a little bit of a natural wooded area there. He doesn't really have anything. Uh, and then we'll just do like a little lead walk. We'll go out to the main street and then across to their set to their driveway. This guy can't really go to the street. And this guy could if he wanted to. And then uh yeah, let's go ahead and put their fences in. 
Uh, we chose white. So this guy's fence is gonna kind of go, what's it collision with? Like that. And let's have it come to there at least. All right, that's cool. And then let's have this fence come like this. What's it colliding with, guys? <laughs> to there, to there, and then there to there. That works for me. And then we're gonna have this fence line somehow come in like this, right? And then we'll put a fence line over here, but I'm gonna make this like into, you can see all the street, the rock is in the way. Um, I'm probably gonna tear that rock out and I'll put like a little island here. I think that's what I wanna do here. Um, but we'll decorate this and then this guy's property will just be inside there. So let's go ahead and give, uh, we'll go ahead and do all the landscaping. We'll go ahead and do it that's fine. We'll give them paint, we'll, we'll paint everything. So give them grass that way that they're prepared when the season changes and right, give them all grass. Oh, I gotta get the dozer out of that guy's yard. All right, guys, I think that's all we're going to do today. We got our development finished. Uh, I think we'll still build two more houses over here, but I got to get these sites ready. Uh, we got all of the concrete in, the roads are in, and just for fun, we're going to take a little tour of the sky. Let's turn this on. Let's turn our speed on so we can get around and we can take a look at our development that we've made. So this is our... This is our development. If you guys want to name it, put some names in the comments and we'll name this development. But this is this is our little housing development here. That's our little housing development. It turned out nice. It's going to look really nice when the springtime comes. And then that over there is going to be the upper scale houses, right? So we're going to have four houses here, possibly two more houses there. I don't know if I can fit one in here. I might be able to get one to fit like right in this area. And then we still have like this little section right here. So we might put a house right in that little area right there. We'll have to see, see if we'll get one to fit in there. But I don't want to go past that road. And I think that road is the, the, the extent of our property. Um, but yeah, guys, I think that's all we're going to do today. I hope you guys have enjoyed this little, uh, this little development we've got here. Our focus now, since we're getting into February and into the springtime, is going to be the boats and uh, getting this roller coaster uh, going on and then um i'll look for some more property around and see what we can do we still have to get some satellite or satellite dishes we still have to get some solar panels put up so we can get some income off of these houses but yeah guys that's it so let me know if you guys enjoy me doing this this is kind of fun it's kind of out of the ordinary for uh for farming sim but i like it uh let's go ahead and do this and then i'm gonna take a screenshot just like that and then I think we are good to go, guys. So thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Smack the like button, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you next time.